It's 20 past 8. Well, plenty of teenagers are pretty moody, but for some it is far more serious. One in seven Australian kids aged from 12 to 18 are faced with a mental health problem. One of the most common problems is depression. So how can parents spot the signs? And also mentors, a peer group of uh, kids as well, then assist their friends or children to get the help they need. Joining us is Dr Gordon Parker. Good morning to you. Good morning. It is one of the saddest issues in our society at the moment, sort of the teenage depression and particularly suicide. Um, mm. How do parents pick between a depressed child and one that's just moody and going mm. through those usual teenage struggles? Well, we suggest that uh, there is a real maze issue going on. There's a first stage of is it depression or is it something physical? And then the next issue in the maze is, is it just adolescent moodiness or is it clinical depression? We, we suggest that there are a few key features that send out the probability that it may be a significant clinical depression. And I guess the first one is uh, that they go asocial. They tend to keep to themselves. Uh, they stop returning phone calls from their friends. They don't go to parties. Secondly, they lose pleasure in life. Uh, they can't be cheered up. They appear preoccupied. Thirdly, often a parent might notice a, a lack of light in the eyes or loss of voice modulation. Uh, and finally, they can appear quite preoccupied as well as depressed. So those features are, are indicators of a greater probability of clinical depression. So what age can you start looking for these sort of signs or will they start showing? How young? Well, even young children can become depressed, but it's a very, very rare phenomenon. Uh, on occasions I've had five-year-olds being described as finding um, school is completely uh, despairing and, and, and wanting to be dead. But usually we start to see depression kicking in in adolescence. And the peer group mm. of kids is really important too. Um, if you're a, a friend of somebody who has those symptoms mm. or a parent, mm. what's your first port of call? What should you do first? I think the key thing is to try to find out what's going on and to do so gently. So lots of open up, open ended questions rather than closed questions, rather than saying you're depressed, more saying uh, you appear a bit troubled, what's going on? And so you're wanting to open up and have a discourse. And I think parents can do that if they have a good to reasonable relationship with their kids. If not, then I think parents can call on other people in the family, grandparents for instance, or call on their teenager's best friend and say, look, I'm a bit worried, see if you can ask the questions. And, and that opening up process will usually be responded to by most adolescents. They'll start talking about it. They'll be worried as to whether it's depression or whether it may be something more gravid. Have I got you know, schizophrenia? Mm. Am I going to need to go into hospital? So there, there's a lot of reasons why they're going to be a little bit reluctant and reticent to reply. So an opening up process that's gentle and supportive is the key, is the key thing. Uh, we hear so much about it nowadays, yep. um, teenage suicide. Is it increasing? No, the, the official figures are showing a very impressive drop. And in Australia, for those aged 18 to 26, the drop in the last five or six years has been from 40 per 100,000 to 18 per 100,000, which is distinctive. Now, those statistics have been criticised because they're not necessarily accurate, but we are seeing the same drop in the United Kingdom and the United States. So, to my mind, that indicates that destigmatisation is likely to be the key feature, that as we have people talking more comfortably about depression, even a discussion here today, uh, and in Australia, I think we're actually leading the way in, in terms of destigmatizing depression with so many politicians, so many sportsmen, that that encourages people not only to talk about mm -hmm. it, which releases attention, and then to get to help. Mm. Well, That's, that is good news. It is. And it's surprising because we hear a lot about it. Thank you very much, Dr. Gordon Parker, this morning. Thank you. Now, if you'd like to read more on the topic, uh, Dr. Parker's book is called Navigating Teenage Depression. It is a terrific book particularly for parents you know and and also kids as well if you've got a friend that's in trouble and let's keep bringing those statistics down if you need someone to talk to lifeline can help 24 hours a day the number to call is 13 11 14